Hey guys, Jeremy here from School of Wok. I'm going to show you my mum's recipe for hoisin ribs, except my addition is a little added Coca Cola for that extra caramelisation. So these hoisin cola ribs. In my mum's speciality, lots of people have taken her recipe, tweaked and changed it, just like me. So I add the Coke to my mum's hoisin ribs. Really, really simple. For all your different sauces, I like to split them up into sort of thicker and thinner ingredients. So my thick ingredients are my ketchup, hoisin and sugar. My thinner ingredients, dark soy sauce, rice vinegar, and a little bit of oil if necessary. Thick to thin, two to one. But we'll get onto the sauces a little bit more in just a second. We've got some ribs here. They've been cut up nicely by the butcher, so it's bite-sized ribs, or you know, three or four bites per rib. So it's a really great snack for a big party, post-Christmas celebration, finger food, that type of thing. We're going to start with some ginger and garlic. I'm going to finely chop both. Now with your ginger, peeling your ginger, a little trick with that is use something blunt, like a teaspoon. So you can get into all the sort of cracks and crevices. You don't cut yourself, I can still talk to you guys. You don't waste any ginger. Garlic. Now no matter what I teach people at School of Walk, this little trick always seems to stick. Or not, with the garlic. You dip your garlic cloves in a little water before you bash it. And when you bash it, you just take the tip of the garlic and you just flick it off. And it just pops straight out. You can see how easy that is. And the reason for that is that you get little droplets of water on that waxy membrane of the garlic clove. And that's why the skin just slips off. The next little tip is, the reason why we love cleavers in Chinese cooking is because anything fibrous like ginger, garlic, prawns, lemongrass, you can bash away with. Great surface area, you just bring the ginger to the side a little and then give it a good bash. And you can see, oh, okay that's a bit too hard maybe, um, we go straight over that. And once more, and you can see how quickly you get to finely chopped ginger. So that can go straight over your ribs. Same with your garlic. Give it a good bash. And then a rough chop over the top. All that ginger and garlic flavour is really going to dissolve into that caramelised sauce for the hoisin ribs. Straight into there. Now, I'm going to garnish this with some fine strands of spring onion. And if you ever wondered how you get spring onion to sort of curl up, I'll show you that now. So we're going to go nice, fine, what the French call julienne, the Chinese call matchsticks of spring onion. We're a lot more literal than the French, I would say. And then we've got, turn that around, and a fine slice or matchstick of spring onion. Now the trick to get the spring onion to curl is just a bowl of ice cold water. So if I pop that into there now, by the time my ribs are finished, those strands of spring onion will curl up nicely and I'll sit them on top. Make, elevate that dish a little. So the sauce, really, really easy stuff. My thick ingredients here, ketchup, hyacin, sugar, my thin dark soy sauce, rice vinegar, and a little oil. Thick to thin, two to one makes it very, very simple. So, I've got a fair few ribs here. We've got some hungry camera people, so I'm gonna go for four to two. Three, 
four spoons of sugar, same amount of hoisin, and that's what will give it nice sort of caramelised texture. Very Moorish this. It's sweet, but it does get balanced out by the sort of slight sour of the vinegar and the savoury of the dark soy sauce. Ketchup. Now we're going to start to balance that sweetness out. Dark soy sauce. Okay, dark soy sauce. One, two, and that dark soy sauce has a higher percentage of sugar to salt content than light. Which is why it's great for caramelising food and caramelising sauces. Perfect for this type of dish. It's really going to to so give that deeper, sort of almost charred finish to the ribs. Rice vinegar, two good spoons of that to balance out the flavour. Give that a good mix through. Now depending on how much fat your ribs have on them, you might want to add a little oil to just give it that glisten and again to help char the outside of the ribs. You can see how sort of sticky that is already. Just a little oil, not too much for these ribs because there's a fair amount of fat on the ribs themselves. So that's my base sort of recipe that I took from my own mum. The ginger, garlic, hoisin, ketchup, sugar, dark soy sauce. Just pour that straight over the top there. It's the type of dish you struggle to not get excited by. Look at that, it already smells absolutely delicious and Moorish. I'm going to get my hands into this and really sort of marinade, massage that flavour, that sauce into the ribs. Looking great. Now I'm going to do this in the oven on a low and slow 150 degrees C. But you can cook them slightly quicker at 180, 200 degrees if you want them. You just can't wait for those ribs to dig into. Or you can put them on the barbecue as well, however you wish. On low and slow, it's quite nice to add a little bit of cola. And that again will just help to sort of sweeten up slightly and char nicely and caramelise that sauce. Straight over the top, you see that got that nice sort of dripping consistency now. And then as the ribs are going in the oven or on the barbecue, just basting it with a little more liquid from that extra coke will help to caramelise around the ribs nicely. Straight into the oven, anywhere between 150 to 180, depending on how much time you've got. The lower your temperature, the longer you can cook it. So the ribs have been in the oven for a couple of hours. Great char from that little added Coca-Cola. Great dish for a dinner party. One roast wonder. Nice picky food. And a big batch of them as well. Finish them with a barbecue slow braise them, slow roast them, however you want to cook them, they will come out tasty. And a good drizzle of the sauce. Make sure it's nice and messy. And your nicely curled spring onion, just to garnish. over the top, your hoisin cola ribs, mum style. The only way to know if it's any good, dig in and try. Mm. Messy work, totally worth it.
<laughs> if you know the only thing your friends and family want is to come to School of Walk, then we've got the perfect gift for you. School of Walk gift vouchers can be found on our online shop. Click the link in the description and you'll find our shop.